From booster shots to diplomatic disputes, the border fallout from the botched and deadly drone strike in Afghanistan, President Biden is facing major challenges and major questions this week. He's got a, a, a pretty big uh, credibility crisis on his hands because all of these problems in some ways showed up after he said something basically the exact opposite. Afghanistan withdrawal wasn't going to be messy. This wasn't going to look like Saigon. This whole execution has been nothing but a catastrophe. What is going on and has happened in Afghanistan is one of the greatest foreign debacles that we have seen as the United States government. This is a foreign policy fiasco that President Biden owns. The American people deserve answers and there are hearings underway already. The top priority must always be getting all Americans home safely. You stated we did the right thing by our citizens in working feverishly to get every one of them out. But, but you didn't get every one of them out. The booster shots, he came out and essentially said that eight months and even indicated maybe we should start it as soon as five months. Now we're not sure if anybody under 65 is going to get a booster shot. But he said that he was going to get it under control. He thought the economy was going to bounce back because of the vaccines. With his poll numbers plummeting, he's trying to shift the focus away from those other crises. Now the Biden administration, because they don't like the way Florida is handling vaccines, they've decided they're going to ration the antibody treatments. Health and Human Services says hospitals and treatment sites can no longer order the COVID therapies directly. This is ridiculous. This is outrageous. People see it for what it is. The border problems, you could say there's years in the making, but the, the, it's pretty clear we have a bigger problem now than we've had in years. The Biden administration has an open border Pause. It's a political decision that Joe Biden could end tonight by simply following the law. The next month is going to probably still be tough for him politically because he's got to get this big bill through Congress. It's reckless spending. It's reckless taxing. It's going to lead to reckless inflation. It's going to kill our economy and kill our jobs. The more you tax success, the less you get of it. And I think it's going to be bad for Americans, especially Main Street businesses. The reckless taxing and spending spree that Democrats are riding behind closed doors is shaping up to be exactly what they promised. An effort to exploit this terrible but temporary pandemic as a Trojan horse for permanent socialism.